Their people and places remembered with flashes of color, paintings whose colors and images have aged with time. Here at the Panhandle Plains Historical Museum, they're brought back to life with the help of Richard Trella. We treat paintings, uh, works of art on paper, textiles, uh, historic objects as well as, as art objects. Trella is a conservator who first finds the flaws left behind by time. Usually using a microscope, he looks at the cracks and flaking paint, then repairs them, sometimes touching them up. And then he cleans the works of art, getting rid of old layers of varnish to reveal the vibrant colors beneath. The, uh, the field of art conservation is a marriage between art and science. Science is used because you have to have a knowledge of materials uh, and how they're going to behave with time. And then art, of course, is used because you have to have the knowledge of the things that you're working on. And then Trella cleaned all of the paintings in the Montana Capitol building. He's treated several pieces of art for the Texas State Capitol, including this 5 by 8 foot portrait. One of his next projects is a portrait painted in 1910 that also hangs in the Texas Capitol. Trolla has been doing this kind of work for 16 years now. In that time, he's touched and retouched pieces of history. In fact, he repaired the flag John Wilkes Booth tripped over when he assassinated President Lincoln. And we had to make sure that we preserve the, uh, the tear in, in, in the flag, of course. Uh, I've worked on cleaning Washington's mess, one of his mess tents uh, from one of his campaigns. And um, I've done some, I've tried to prove that a Leonardo da Vinci was, uh, was a phony. There are more paintings and objects waiting for Trella's touch, so he will be busy in the future restoring the past. Mary Nelson, News Channel 10, Nightcast.